Today, the city of Kansas City will take a major and comprehensive step toward improving the cleaning, the investigation, and the punishment of illegal dumping. Those efforts include, in this year's budget, the mayor and city council, as requested by our director of public works, approved funding to increase and expand the bulky item collection program, which will, we, which will create greater access for our residents to dispose of their large items. We also approved the purchase of an additional clam truck, which will improve, which will improve our ability to uh, mitigate and clean up garbage in a timely manner. The Neighborhoods Department has hired five new investigators for a total of six investigators whose responsibility it will be to investigate illegal dumping cases, and I believe that is more than we have ever had as a city. At their disposal will be dozens of new cameras, dozens of new cameras installed at known dumping sites funded by Councilwoman Melissa Patterson Hasley and myself. And to officially uh, efficiently handle the expected increase in illegal dumping cases, the municipal court has volunteered to create an illegal dumping docket. And today the city council will take up ordinance number 24045, which creates enhanced penalties for dumping that occurs with high frequency in vulnerable locations. Per the ordinance, dumping that occurs on vacant lots, unimproved lots, park property, and land bank properties owned by the city, like the lot right behind us, for a first offense, fines will be enhanced to a range of $500 to $1,000. And for subsequent offenses at those, at those locations, the fine will be enhanced from $750 to $1,000. Also for subsequent offenses will be a requirement that the individual be required to complete 48 hours of shock incarceration time or participation in a community service and cleanup program. Finally, the city's communications department will engage in a public information campaign to properly inform the public about the increased opportunities with, with the bulky item program, the increased monitoring and investigations, and enhanced penalties. With these comprehensive efforts, we have an opportunity to improve the city's delivery of a basic city service that is a top priority for our residents. We have an opportunity to create cleaner, safer, and healthier neighborhoods for our children, our families, and our neighbors. And we have an opportunity as city leaders to prove to Kansas City that we are listening and that we are willing to take action. I wanna thank our city manager and our hardworking staff with the Public Works Department, Neighborhoods Department, Communications Department, and Municipal Court. And I would also like to thank my third district counterpart, Councilwoman Melissa Patterson Hasley, for her partnership on these measures and her willingness to roll up her sleeves and clean up our city. I'm going to hand it off to Councilwoman Melissa Patterson Hasley. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Rea. I also want to um, thank Councilman Rea for his leadership and his willing to collaborate. One of the things I'm proud of of this particular city council is our ability to work together. Um, even though we're in separate districts, um, the things that he's talking about in terms of illegal dumping are very um, crucial to the third district as well. We have the majority of land bank and vacant lots in the third district, and this behavior is pretty chronic. Uh, we have the most cases of 311 reports for illegal dumping, and so it's important that we have a comprehensive approach in terms of mitigating the behavior. But Kansas City, we do need your help. We need you to continue to report dumping that you see. We need you to identify people that are the culprits of dumping, which are often people that are not even your neighbors, and so they're coming in from other areas and creating a very unclean, unsightly uh, environment, which is not good for, for a healthy life lifestyle and is and is stressful. Um, we're going to be doing everything we can as a city from a from a um, education approach to let the community know our new um, rules, if you will, and guidelines as it pertains to illegal dumping. One thing that I hear from neighborhood leaders in the third district is that 
you know, cameras are good, and, and Councilman Rea and I have, have funded several cameras that will be available to community members. You just need to reach out and ask for one and tell us where to put them. But one thing that I've heard is that the community wants regular ways to get rid of their waste. And so we have 16 cleanups that happen across the city every year, and we're going to be adding a larger one uh, to be announced soon so that hopefully people will hang on to their bulky items instead of dumping them in lots, and they will take them to these cleanups. And so we're trying to have um, some proactive approaches to give people an opportunity to, to do the right thing. But Folks that want to continue to, to mess up our neighborhoods, we're going to have to try and uh, mitigate that behavior. So um, I appreciate everyone being here this morning. And again, uh, please do Kansas City get involved and help us clean up our neighborhoods. At this point, I'd like to welcome uh, Councilman Daryl Curls to the podium, the representative from the 6th dis 5th District at large. Thank you, uh, Councilwoman. Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's an uh, honor to be here this uh, morning. I want to commend my two council colleagues, uh, Councilman Rea and Councilman Patterson Hasley, in regards to really putting a lot of focus and attention on this issue. It's been a large issue throughout this city for a number of years, and I'm glad to be part of a council that is really listening to the constituents and to our citizens in regards to a major concern that they've had. And this is going to be the first step in regards to hopefully starting to clean up our city. Uh, I know that uh, situations like this behind us are common themes throughout this city. Uh, it is very predominant in the 5th District as well as in this district as well and throughout our city. So for this council to take this aggressive step in regards to start this process, putting forth an ordinance and putting forth our uh, money where our mouth is in regards to helping to clean this city, I believe it does create a more safe, healthy and livable environment for all of our citizens. So I'm just proud to be here this morning, proud to be part of this council, that we are looking and listening at the concerns of our citizens and uh, looking for uh, a lot cleaner and better, safer city going forward as this progress or this program continues. And with that being said, I'm going to turn it over to the city manager right now. Let him say a few words. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Just have a few thank yous. Uh, first of all, the leadership of the council members behind me uh, and the whole group uh, for having the vision and the uh, uh, passion to make our city a better place. Also to the staff that will be the boots on the ground taking care of these issues, cleaning up the trash. We've got our some of our amazing public works crew here, uh, but also Mike Shaw, director of public works here, uh, Forrest Decker, director of neighborhoods. We've got Luke Cummings from Solid Waste, David Cornelius, who runs 311. It's a group effort, it's a team effort. And none of these things are successful without that amazing team. And so we're so thankful and grateful for everybody here. Uh, you heard a few people say comprehensive. And it's important to note that. We've got a lot of ways that we're cleaning up our city, some of which you've heard of today, some of which we've introduced even recently. We just announced rolling out uh, trash carts to every curbside collection uh, home in Kansas City. 160,000 trash carts are on the way starting this month. We released, we started, we, we distributed recycling carts to every house in Kansas City last year. These are great ways to keep trash off the streets and into the bins and off uh, out of Kansas City. Uh, we have weekly bulky item collection now. We started that this year. It's really important to make sure that people aren't finding other ways to dump their trash somewhere else. We've got a much easier process uh, for that. Uh, we have community engagement cleanups, as Councilwoman Patterson Hasley noted. We had a one of our twice annual great Kansas City cleanups last month on Earth Day, and we collected 91,000 pounds of trash. 1,600 volunteers came uh, and helped clean up our city. We're doing this twice a year. We've got a lot of smaller cleanups going on, too. We're all doing our part to make our city cleaner. This year's budget also added uh, significant additional funding for litter and trash cleanup crews. Uh, we're working with some of our local partners, such as Hope Faith and Creative Innovative, uh, to make sure that when we see trash, we're collecting it as quickly as possible and doing it proactively. Uh, we've got additional drop-offs uh, in communities that we do with more dumpsters. There, there's so much that we're doing here 
to make Kansas City a cleaner and safer and healthier place. And we're so thankful for all the work of our council members and the staff. Thank you very much.